Yo, what's up guys? Today we are reacting to Bill Words. This is the history of the entire world, I guess. <laughs> okay, the title is funny already. Um, the thumbnail is also quite funny, so I don't know if we should take this 100% seriously, but we're going to react to it. First time watching this, um, this was a suggestion, in fact, by ChatGPT. Who would have thought that, you know... Um, you can look for great content using AI, but I don't need to use, um, AI. You guys can comment and let me know what I should react to next. <laughs> I just wanted to test and see what AI can and would recommend me to react to. It was just a internal test that I was trying to do and see if this actually works. So this is what, you know, the, the AI told me to watch. Hey, I don't know what I'm in for, but let's go. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's do this. Hi, you're on a rock, floating in space. Pretty cool, huh? Some of it's water. Fuck it. Actually, most of it's water. Bro, is this in high speed? No, it's in normal speed. What's... Dude is speaking so fast. Sorry for the swearing. Hi, you're on a rock, floating in space. Pretty cool, huh? Some of it's water. Fuck it. Actually, most of it's water. I can't even get from here to there without buying a boat. It's sad. I'm sad. I miss you. How did this happen? A long time ago, what? actually never, and also now, nothing is nowhere. When? Never. Makes sense. Bro, is this blowing up in your ear? It's blowing up in my... Right? Like I said, it didn't happen. Nothing was never anywhere. That's why it's been everywhere. It's been so everywhere, you don't need a where. You don't even need a when. That's how every it gets. And that's the end of the video. Forget this. I want to be something. Go somewhere. Do something. I want things to change. I want to invent time and space. And I know it's possible because everything is here and it probably already happened. I just don't know when to start. And that's exactly where it started. Oh, I paused it. I think there's a universe now. What's it made of? Quarks and stuff. Ah, that's a thing. In a place. Don't like it? Try a new place. At a different time. Try to stick together because the world is going to get bigger and emptier. But it's not empty yet. It's still very full and about a jillion degrees. Great news, the quarks are now happily married in groups of three, called a proton or a neutron. And there's something else flying around too that wants to join in but can't because it's still too- what Great news, the protons and neutrons are now happily married to each other. Some of them even doubled up. Great news, the electrons have now joined in. Congratulations, the world is now a bunch of gas in space. But it's getting closer together. And it's getting closer together. And it's getting closer together. It's a star. New shit just got made. Some stars burn out and die. Bigger stars burn out and die with passion and make some brand new, way crazier shit. Christian. Which allows newer, more interesting stars to be made and then die and explode into Even crazier space dust. Bro, I wonder if this was ever used in a classroom to teach, you know, um, students how to work, how, like how the, the, the evolution theory started and stuff like that. I wonder if, you know, people with... Um, um, att attention deficit, like, would watch this. So now stars have cool stuff around them, like rocks, ice, and funny clouds, which can make some very interesting things. Like this ball of flaming rocks, for example. Holy shit, we just got hit with another ball of flaming rocks. And it kind of made a mess, which is now. Weather update, it's raining rocks from outer space. Weather update, those rocks might have had water inside them and now there's hot steam in the sky. Weather update, cooler temperatures today and the floor is no longer lava. Weather update, Weather Training. update. Severe flooding alert. The entire world is now an ocean. Volcano alert. That's land. There's life in the ocean. What? Something's alive in the ocean. Oh, cool. Like a plant or an animal? No, a microscopic speck. It lives at the bottom of the ocean and eats chemical soup, which is being served hot and fresh, made from gnarly space ingredients left over from when it was raining rocks or whatever. Oh, yeah, and it can do that. It has secret instructions written inside itself telling it how to build another one of itself. So that's pretty nifty, I would say. Tired of living at the bottom of the ocean? Now you can eat sunlight. Using a revolutionary technique, you can convert sunlight into food. Taste the sun. Side effect, now there's oxygen what? everywhere and the sky's blue. Then the earth might have been a snow... That's... <laughs> that's so funny, man. Well, ...for a while, maybe even a couple of times. It's a sponge. It's a plant. It's a worm and some other types of weird, strange water bugs and strange fish. It's the Cambrian Explosion. Wow, that's animals and stuff. But we're still in the ocean. Hey, can we go on land? No. Why? The sun is a deadly laser. Oh, okay. Not anymore, there's a blanket. Now the animals can go on land. <laughs> Come on, animals, let's go on land. Nope, can't walk yet. And there's no food yet, so I don't care. 
Okay, will you learn to walk if there's plants up here? Maybe, said some bugs and fish. <laughs> okay, so I can go on land, but I have to go back in the water to have babies. Learn to use an egg. I was already doing that. Use a stronger egg. Put water in it. Have a baby on land in an egg. Water is in the egg. Baby in the egg in the water in the egg. Works for me. Bye bye ocean. So that basically um, settles it. What came first, the egg or the fish, I guess? And now everything's huge, including bugs. Want to see a map of the land? Sure. Oh fuck, now everything's dead. Just kidding, here are the survivors. Keep your eye on this one because it's about to become the dinosaurs. Here's another map of the land. Yeah, it broke apart. Don't worry about it. It does that all the time. Here comes a meteor. <laughs> does that all the time. The dinosaurs are gone. It's mammal time. Here come the mammals. Look at those breasts. Now they're going to dominate the world. And one of them just learned how to grab stuff and walk. No, like walk like that and grab stuff at the same time and bang rocks together to make pointed rocks. Ouch. And set things on fire. Youch. And make crazy sounds with their voice. Which can mean different things. That's a human person. And now they're everywhere. Almost. <laughs> Ice age. What? You can walk over here? Cool. Not anymore. Well, I guess we're stuck here now. Not anymore. Let's review. There's people on the planet. And they're chasing their food. Fuck it. Time to plant some grass. Look at this. I control the food now. Now everyone will want to be my friend and live near me. Let's all build houses, except mine is bigger because I own the food. This is great. I wonder if anyone else is doing this. Tired of using rocks for everything? Use metal. It's underground. Better farming was just invented in a sweet dank valley right in between these two rivers. And the animals are helping. Guess what happens next? More food. And more people who came to buy the food. Now you need people to help make the food and keep track of the sales. And now you need houses for people to live in and people to make the houses. And now there's more people and they invent things, which makes things better. And more people come and there's more farming and more people to make more things for more people. And now there's business, money, writing, laws, power. Society. Coming soon to a... Yo, those, 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 those jingles throw me off every time. That's, bro, I think that's what makes this so funny, man. You're not expecting it. I mean, what he's saying, the history is, is he's telling the, the history in a, s a satirical um, tone, but then suddenly he comes with dance and singing, you know, and, and it's funny, man. I don't know. To a dank river valley near you. Meanwhile, out in the middle of nowhere, the horse is probably being tamed. Why is all my metal so lame and lumpy? Tired of using lame, sad metal? Introducing bronze made with special ingredient tin from the far lands of Tinland. I don't know, my dealer tin won't land. tell me where he gets it. Also, guess what? Egypt. Meanwhile, out in the middle of nowhere, they figured out how to put wheels on a horse. Now we're getting somewhere. Also, China. And did I mention? In this river valley civilization. The Middle East is getting more complicated. Maybe because it's in the middle of the East. Knock knock, or clop clop. It's the people with the horses. And they made an empire. And then everyone else copied their horses. Greeks! Ah look, it must be the Greeks. Greeks. Or a beta version of the Greeks. Let's check in with the Indus River Valley civilization. They're gone. Guess who's not gone? China. New arrivals in India. Maybe it's those horse people I was talking about. Or their cousins or something. And they wrote some hymns and mantras and stuff. You could make a religion out of this. There's the Bronze Age collapse. Now the Phoenicians can get down to business. Also, can we switch to a metal that's a little easier to find? Thanks. Look who came back to Israel. It's the 12 tribes of Israel. And they believe in God. Just one, though. He's got like a 10-step program. Here's some huge heads. Must be the Onyx. The Phoenicians program. make some colonies. The Greeks copy their idea and make some colonies. The Phoenicians made a colony so big it makes colonies. Here comes the Assyrian Empire. Never mind, it's the Babylonian media. It's the Persian Empire. Wow, that's big. Ah, the Buddha was just enlightened. Who's the Buddha? This guy, who sat under a tree for so long that he figured out how to ignore the fact that we're all dying. You can make a religion out of this. Oops, China just broke, but while it was breaking, Confucius was figuring out how to have good morals. Ah, the Greeks just had the idea of thinking about stuff. And right over here, Alexander just had the idea of conquering the entire Persian Empire. It's a great idea. He was great. And now he's dead. Hopefully, the rest of the gang will be able to share the empire evenly between them. Knock knock, it's Chandragupta. He says, get the hell out of here. Will you get the hell out of here if I give you 500 elephants? Okay, thanks, bye. Time to conquer all of India. Or most of India. <laughs> oh, what about this part? That's the Tamil kings. No one conquers the Tamil kings. Tamil. The Tamil kings. Merchants, probably. And they've got spices. Who would like to buy the spices? Me, said the Arabians, swiftly buying it and selling it to the rest of the world. Um, there's a movie called PS1 and PS2. Ponies. Ponyan si Ponyan Oh, I forgot the second name. Ponyan Selvan, I think. And it talks about the 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 Tamil kings. Hey, China put itself back together again with good morals as their main philosophy. Actually, they have three main philosophies. 
Out here, the horse nomads run wild and free, and they would like to ransack your city. Let's check the Greekification levels of the Greekified kingdoms. Greekification overload. Bye, said the Parthians. Bye, said the Jews. Hi, said the Parthians, taking over the entire place. Hey, said the Romans, eating the entire Mediterranean hey. for breakfast. Thanks for invading our homeland, said the Jews, who were starting to get tired of people invading their homeland. Hi, everything's great, said some guy, who seems to be getting very popular and is then arrested and killed for being too popular, which only makes him more popular. You can make a religion out of this. Want silk? Now you can buy it from China. They just made a brand new road to the world. The Silk Road. Wow, there's a very famous singer from Kazakhstan, um, which his name is um, Dimash. Was it Dimash who sang The Silk Road? There's a song about The Silk Road. If it wasn't Dimash, it was Zhou Shen. Guys, I'm, I'm forgetting the who, who sang The Silk Road song thing, thingamajig. Guys, anyways, history is fun. <laughs> Or you can get the wrong water. Sick. New trade routes, said India, accidentally spreading their religion to the entire southeast. Mm, that's a good place for an epic trading kingdom. There goes Buddhism traveling up the Silk Road. I wonder if it'll reach China before it collapses again. Remember the Persian Empire? Yep, said the Persians, making a new one. Axum is getting so powerful they would like to build a long stick. Has anyone populated Madagascar yet? Let's do it together. China's home again. Then it broke again. Still can't cross the Sahara Desert? Try camels. Hell yeah, now we got big. Business. Said the Ghana Empire, selling lots of gold. And so, wow. hi, I live Ghana. in the Roman Empire, and I was wondering, is loving Jesus legal yet? No. Actually, okay, sure, said Constantine, moving the capital way over here to be closer to his main rival. Don't worry about Rome, it won't fall. It's the golden age of There's the Gupta Empire, not Chandra Gupta, just Gupta. First name Chandra. The first. Guess who's in Rome? Barbarians. What's a barbarian? Non-Romans, said the Romans, being invaded by non-Romans. R.I.P. Roman Empire. Or er, actually just half of it. The other half is just fine. But it's not in Rome anymore, so let's give it a new name. The Mayans have figured out the stars. Oh, and here's a huge city. Population everyone. The Gokturks have taken over the entire Eurasian steppe. Great job, Gokturks. How's India? Broken. How's China? Back together. How's those trading kingdoms? Bigger and there's more of them. Korea has three kingdoms. Japan has a kingdom. It's the Sunrise Kingdom. Deep in the Arabian desert, on the top of a mountain, the real god whispers in Muhammad's ear. So he goes down to the cube where everyone worships gods, and he tells them their gods are all fake. And everyone got so mad at him that he had to leave town and go to a different town. You can make a religion out of this, and maybe conquer the world as well. The Roman Empire is long gone, but somehow the Pope is still the Pope. Plus there's new kingdoms all over Europe. I wonder if there's room for Moors. Here's all the wisdom. In Moors. A house. It's the Baghdad House of Wisdom. Just in time for the Islamic Golden Age. Let's bring stuff to the coast and sell it and become the Swahili on the Swahili coast, said the Swahili on the Swahili coast. Remember this tiny space you have to go through to get from here to there? Someone owns that now. Want to get enlightened in the middle of nowhere? The Franks have the biggest kingdom in Europe, and the Pope is so proud that he invites the king over for Christmas. Surprise, you're the new Roman Emperor, said the Pope, pretending to still be part of the Roman Empire. Then the Franks broke their kingdom into what will later be called France and not France. The Northerners, or just France Norse and if you not have much time, are exploring. They go north, from the north to the northern north, and they find some land, two types of land, and they name them accordingly. They also invade some other places and get called many names, such as Vikings. There's the Rus, the Kievan Rus. Are they Vikings? I don't think so, said the Kievan Rus. Okay, fair enough. The Pope is ready to make some more emperors of the Roman Empire, the Holy Roman Empire. It's actually Germany, but don't worry about it. New kingdom. Don't worry about it. Which brand would you like? Mine's better. Mine's better. Mine's better. Time to conquer England, said William. It's a bird. It's a plane. It's the Seljuk Turks. <laughs> said the Byzantine Empire, who's getting so small it almost doesn't exist anymore. We need help. They need help. So they call the Pope. Hey, Pope, can you help us get rid of the Seljuks? Maybe take back the Holy Land on the way? Come on, I know you want to take back the Holy Land. Yes, I do actually want to do that. Let's do a crusade. Crusade. They did many crusades, some of which almost didn't fail. But at least the Italians got some sweet trade deals. Goodbye, Mayans. Hello, Toltecs. Goodbye, Toltecs. Hello, Mississippi. Look at those mounds. There's the Pueblo. I always wondered how to build a town and a cliff. Guess who's here? Come here. Where? Here. And Pagan is there. Vietnam unconquered itself, Korea just became itself, and Japan is so addicted to art that the military might have to take over the government. China just invented bombs and typing. And the Mongols just invaded most of the universe. Nice going, Genghis. I bet that will last a long time. Some of the Islamic Turks were unaffected Broken. by the Mongol invasions because they were busy invading India. Is it Tonga time? I think it's Tonga time. I just found out where the Swahili gets all their gold. Look at this Chad. Means lake. There's an empire there. Right in the middle of... The king of Mali is so rich he's going on tour to let everyone know. Wow, that guy's rich, everyone said. The Christians are doing a great job reconquering Iberia, which will soon be called Spain and not Spain. Please remain Christian. We will check in later to see if you're still Christian when you least expect. Whoops, half of Europe just died. Bing. 
China's back, yay. Hey, come here, time to share. New Kingdom's here and there. Oh, look who controls all the islands. You know, it's funny how he breaks um, some bad news, like, like just like that. You know, you can see it's a satire. And I'm really focused, like, um, I, 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 I don't want to pause and comment too much because this is a very fast-paced video. But, you know, there are some things, like the, the Spanish Inquisition, he, he just dropped the bomb and, you know, it was, it was a funny thing, which isn't a funny thing, you know what I'm saying? So, I can't wait to see when he gets to um, closer modern uh, events. Uh, let's see how he drops those. Uh, uh, Islands. It's the Mahajapit, Majahapit, Mapajahit, Mahapajit, Mapajahit, Majapahit. Oh, Italy's really rich. Time for them to care a lot about art and the ancient classics. It's kind of like a rebirth. Here's a printer. Let's make books. So you think you can conquer the Byzantine Empire? Yep, said the Ottoman Turks. Nice job, Ottoman Turks. Oops, you missed a spot. Don't forget to ban Europe from the Indian spice trade. What? That's bullshit, said Portugal. Spiceless. Well, I guess Spiceless. we have to find another way Angola. to India. Oh, India. Wait, said Christopher Columbus, probably smoking crack. If the world is round, let's go this way to India. No, don't worry, we already got this. Brazil. Portugal. So Chris goes to Spain. Hey, Spain, want to hire me to find India by going around back of the world? No, please, no, please, no, please. Okay. So he sails into the ocean and discovers more ocean and then discovers the Indies and Japan. Let's draw a line to decide who gets which half of the world. The Aztec and Inca empires are off to a great start. I wonder if they know that Europe just discovered their continent. The Habsburgs are marrying into so many royal families they might have to start marrying each other. Move over, Lithuania. Here comes Moscow. Ivan wants to make Russia great again. Move over, Timurids. Maybe go invade India or something. Persia just made Persia Persian again. Let's make it the other kind of Islam. The one where we thought the first guy should have been the other guy. Hey, Christians, do you sin? Now you can buy your way out of hell. That's bullshit. This whole thing is bullshit. That's a scam. Fuck the church. Here's 95 reasons why, said Martin Luther in his new book, which might have accidentally started the Protestant Reformation. You know what would be magnificent? So, Martin Luther, um... Martin Luther, this man here, he he kind of like um, he was kind of like a what you call a, a snitch, <laughs> a snitch for like the the Catholic Church. Have you guys ever read his books um, or seen? There are so many series out there as, uh, and movies, and um, apparently he was poisoned for you know, um, telling the secrets of the, the Catholic Church. Um, and it's interesting because I I had a few comic books from Martin, Martin Luther that I had to translate from English to Portuguese. And it was, it was, it's, it's a very interesting story if you want to check it out. So, <laughs> bro, the way he just mentioned Okay, let me, let me go back a little Martin bit. Luther, in his new book, which might have accidentally started. 94, five reasons why. Bro, come on. Protestant Reformation. You know what would be magnificent, said Suleiman, wearing an onion hat? What if the Ottoman Empire was really big, which it is now? What if Russia was big, said Ivan, trying not to be terrible? Portugal had a dream that they controlled the entire Indian Ocean, including the spice trade. And then that dream was real. And Spain realized that this is not India. So this was when they um, Portugal went to Goa. Is that correct? And Spain realized that this is not India, but they pillaged it anyway. Damn, said England and France. We gotta start pillaging some stuff. Then the Dutch revolt and all the hipsters moved to Amsterdam. Damn, said Amsterdam. We gotta start pillaging some stuff. Question one, can you get to India through North America? No. So they went to Indonesia, right? Oh, but at least there's beaver. Question two, steal oh, the spice trade. UK. That's not a question, but the Dutch did it anyway. Sugar. Guess where all the sugar's made? In Brazil. Stolen. In the Caribbean. And it's so goddamn profitable, you might forget to not do slavery. The next thing on Russia's to-do list is to get bigger. Britain and France are having a friendly discussion about who should control the entire world. More specifically, Ohio. Then it escalates into a seven-year discussion, giving Prussia a chance to show Austria who's boss. But what about Britain and France? Did they figure out who's boss? Yes, they did. It's Britain. Guess who's broke? Also Britain. So they start taxing the hell out of America. Fuck you, says America, declaring their independence and fighting for it. And France helps them win. Now France is broke. And Britain will have to send their prisoners to a different continent. Wait, if France is broke, why do the king and queen still wear such fancy dresses? Let's overthrow the palace and cut all their heads off, said Robespierre, cutting everybody's head off until someone eventually got mad and cut his head off. You can make a religion. No, don't. Haiti is starting to like the idea of a revolution, especially the slaves, who free themselves by killing their masters. Why didn't we think of this before? Wait, who's in charge of France now? said Napoleon, trying to take over Europe. Luckily, they banished him to an island. But he came back. Luckily, they banished him to another island. 
There goes Latin America, becoming independent in the Latin American Wars of Independence. Britain just figured out how to turn steam into power, so now they can make many different types of machines and factories with machines in them, so they can make a lot of products real fast. Then they invent some trains, and conquer India, and maybe put some trains there. Hey, China, said Britain, buy stuff from us. Nah, dude, we already got everything, says China. So Britain tried to get them addicted to opium, which worked, actually. But then China made it illegal and dumped it all into the sea. So Britain threw a hissy fit and made them open up five cities and give them an island. Britain and Russia are playing a game where they try to stop each other from conquering Afghanistan. Also, the Sultan of Oman lives in Zanzibar now. Zanzibar. That's just where he lives. India just had a revolution, and they would like to govern themselves now. Nope, said Britain, governing them even harder than before. Technology is about to go crazy. The United States Morse finally code. figured out whether slavery is good or bad. It's bad, they decided. And then they continued manifesting their destiny, which is to kill the rest of the natives and take their land and maybe kick out the Mexicans too. I know, let's rape Africa, said Europe, scrambling to see who could rape it the fastest. They never oh my goodness. Britain and France are still hungry. They never got Thailand. The United States ran out of destiny to manifest, so they're looking for more. Hi, Cuba. Wait, Spain controls Cuba. Well, blame something on them and go to war. What should we blame on Spain? Let's blame the main on Spain. So they blame the main on Spain. Now we're in business. To celebrate, they kick Panama out of Panama and make a canal, connecting the two oceans. Britain just found oil in the Middle East. It makes cars go. China is so tired of being bossed around that they delete their old government and make a new, stronger government, which is accidentally weaker and controlled by a guy from the previous government. Europe hasn't had a war since the last war, so they start World War I. Look at those guns. It's going to be a great war. So great we won't need a second one. After it's over, they blame Germany. Russia went on strike. So, um, the First World War was not called the First World War, obviously. We call it the First World War because there was a second one. Um, but it was called the Great War at that time. The, the First World War, you know, wouldn't be called... Like, for example, if, um, if it's the first, we don't know there's a second. So, like, the Matrix movie is not called the Matrix 1. Do you know what I'm saying? So... We just call it the First World War now because of the second one. That's basically obvious. <laughs> it's going to be a great war. So great we won't need a second one. After it's over, they blame Germany. Russia went on strike and the workers overthrew the government. Now everyone's paycheck is the same. Communism in the Soviet Union. The Arabs revolt and Britain helps. Now the Ottoman Empire is gone so we can give the Jewish people a place to live. Hopefully the Arabs won't mind. Let's cut the cake, said Sykes and Picot, carving up the remains of the not-so-Ottoman-anymore empire. Except Turkey, Turkey makes a brand new Turkey. And then the Saudis conquer Arabia. It just seemed like the right thing to do. Hello? Yes, it's the 1920s calling. Let's get in the car and drive to a party and listen to jazz on the radio and go to the movies. The economy's great and it'll probably be great forever. Just kidding. Germany's back, just featuring kidding. Hitler, the angry the mustache depression. model, and he's mad at the Jews for existing. Japan is finally conquering the East, and they're so excited they raped Nanking way too hard, they should probably just deny it. Hitler's out of control, so the international community tackles him and tries to explain why killing all the Jews is a bad idea, but he kills himself before they could explain it to him. That's World War II. Bonus round, Pacific Showdown, United States versus China. Interesting, because they didn't mention, um, or he didn't mention uh, Japan in, in World War II. The, you know, the um, Hiroshima and, and Nagasaki events he, he didn't mention those japan fight oh, right. he didn't also oh he's gonna mention it now okay sorry about that pearl harbor bonus round pacific showdown united states versus japan fight, fight. finish oh my goodness let's unite all the nations and have some world, world peace seems legit hi i'm gandhi and if britain doesn't get the hell out of india i'm going to starve myself in public Wow, that worked. Bonus, now there's Pakistan. Actually, two Pakistans. One of them can be Bangladesh later. The Jews and the Arabs finally figured out which one of them should live in the Holy Land. Me, they both said at the same time. Let's divide up the land so everyone's happy. Psych, they both get angrier. Look out, China. There's a new China in China. What's on the menu? Communism. No thanks, said the other China, escaping to an island. I wonder which one is the real China. There's the Korean War, Korea versus Korea. Nobody wins, then it's on pause forever. Let's meet the sponsors. Oh, it's the two global superpowers. They're having a friendly debate over which economic system is good and which one is an evil virus of Satan. And they both have atom bombs. Fight! Wait, no, that would be the end of the world. Let's just keep it cool and spy on each other instead. And make sure we have enough atom bombs. I'll race you to space. Now let's make some more countries fight themselves. Europe is tired of pillaging other continents, and the continents they were pillaging are tired of being pillaged. So here's a new map with new countries. Now you can't tell who they're being pillaged by. 
The United States finally decided whether racism is good or bad. They decided it's bad, and the world agrees. South Africa might need another minute to think about it. Let's check the world population. Well, I'm gonna mention this. Um, I lived in South Africa. Um, at, like when I went to South Africa, apartheid was ending with the release of Mandela from prison. Uh, this was around 1992, but there were still very, um, very much, there, there was still a lot of racism, um, going on. Cause it was, it was kind of like the adaptation phase, right? Apartheid had been, um, abolished or well, not entirely yet, but when I arrived there, it was very recent that um, the president, well, not the president, but Mandela had left the uh, prison and then he became president and all of that. So um, it was a very interesting moment, you know, to, to live through. Um, I remember like historic events, um, the rugby uh, national team winning the World Cup and stuff like that. You know, it was it was a historic moment, and I don't know how South Africa is right now in terms of um, the apartheid and racism, but I hope things are much more peaceful and pacific now. But I think so, yeah. You know, I hope so. <laughs> it's bad, and the world agrees. South Africa might need another minute to think about it. Let's check the world population. Whoa. Okay. Technology's better too, that might keep happening. The Soviet Union decides to relax a little and accidentally falls apart. Europe makes a union, so now they can all use the same money. Except Britain, because they don't feel like it. Let's check the mail. Surprise, it's on the computer. Whoops, someone just attacked America. I bet oh, they'll wow. remember that. Phone call. Surprise, it's in your pocket. Want to learn everything? Surprise, it's on the computer. Now your phone's a computer, which is in your pocket. Whoops, the economy just crashed. Don't worry, the big banks won't fail because they're not supposed to. Surprise, flying robots with bombs. Want to print a brain? Some people have no friends. Some people have no food. The globe is warming. And the ocean is full of plastic. Let's save the planet, said everybody, not knowing how. Let's invent a thing inventor, said the thing inventor inventor after being invented by a thing inventor. That's pretty cool. <laughs> by the way, where the hell are we? Wow. This video is quite old, but it still has, um, well, it's six years ago. Man, things have been crazy like things have evolved insanely fast especially with this um day and age of ai where you can um ask ai to do anything for you as i said in the beginning of this video i asked chat gpt what it would recommend me to watch and this was one of the videos and i have no idea why um so let's test the theory and see if um this video blows up because you know if ai is recommending it so it might know that there i think it might know that this video has a separate fan base but i'm not sure it's the first time i watched it it's very fun um i'm gonna watch other videos from this channel if you guys want to recommend some let me know in the comments down below and Hey, I hope you enjoyed my reaction. Um, I tried to comment as much as I could, but it was so entertaining, so fast paced that I couldn't, you know, pause and talk too much. Um, I also tried to express a few things about my history, um, you know, um, so I, I hope the, the reaction was okay. Cause I, I don't know how to react to these type of videos that are too fast. Cause when I pause, some people get angry and say, Hey, let the video play. But when I don't pause, people are like, okay, so you're not reacting to it. You're just watching it. You know, it's funny. It's crazy. Um, but Hey, I hope you guys still enjoyed it nonetheless. And, um, Hey, don't forget to like, and subscribe. Don't forget to recommend more stuff in the comments down below. And, I don't know where the world is going to go 10 years from now, but let's hope for the best, you know, and let's hope that there are no more wars. Peace. Guys, take care. See you soon. Bye-bye.